Well, you guys know who this is. Matt Graham. Matt, thanks, man, for taking the time. Uh, good to meet you. Tell the guys a little bit, like, we started talking about this. Just your six-month journey yeah. into, the, into the wild and what you were thinking and how that went for you. Yeah, that came when I was about uh, 34, so almost almost 10 years ago. Okay. And, I, and at that time, I had been teaching uh, also for 10 years. I started teaching as a primitive skills instructor when I was about 23 years old. And, uh, and after 10 years, I'm like, I, I got to I gotta push through that barrier and learn more. Mm-hmm. I was running 28-day courses, but it always felt like at the end of those courses that we're just breaking through something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what would it feel like to push beyond that, yeah. that limit? So I set a goal that year and go walking out in the winter solstice, December 21st, spending six months in the wild without coming into town that was the goal, straight and simple. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and uh, and it was amazing. Like I, I, I learned a tremendous amount about myself, my relationship with nature. Um, I pushed my skills to a new level, yeah. you know. And I learned how value. I, you know, I worked on both the bow and the atlatl, and I learned how important that the atlatl, that tool, became really? for me. Yeah, you know, it's, lot, it just feels cumbersome to me. It's, you yeah, just have to get become one with it, huh? Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know. Well, I made a lot of designs. Like I made like, like right off the bat, I probably made well over thirty designs, different cultures throughout the world, to figure out exactly the one that I liked and worked for me. And when I finally got it down, I'm like, this is amazing. You know, it's you got this extra. It's like an arrow arrow on steroids. Hmm. So you just got all this extra power that. If, unfortunately, like sometimes you don't make a perfect shot with a bow, but with an atlatl, when you don't make a perfect shot, you can still run to the animal and quickly dispatch it, which is what I really like for a mid-sized game. Okay. How did you make the time? That's that's the big thing. Like, yeah. How do you carve out well, even even like a week, ten days, a month? I mean, at that time, you know, I, I own no cell phone, computer, no car. You know, I didn't own anything, so it was it was already part of my life. Yeah, and that's the big part of it. You know, once we start owning things, get wrapped up with cultural aspects. Unfortunately, right. it, it does take our time away. Right. Right. So it's a trade-off. Yeah, you've been busy with the show and all that. How's it going for you? Good. You know, it's it's been a good opportunity to be out there and and uh, like share those skills with yeah. everybody yeah. and meet. The best part about the show, honestly, is just meeting all the people throughout the world. And you know, I go to jungles, and in a few days before we shoot, I talk to some tribal folks there, and I learn a little bit more about each each different environment. But you know, have my own experience and twist on it. Yeah. So that's cool to me. You know, I'm giving you know the viewers this opportunity to see what the natives do, but also what a white man like myself might how they might approach that environment. Yeah. Yeah. I. I would say the most important thing, like, like throughout the word survival, you know, yeah. the first step really to to nature is is to experience it for the nature connection, because we're we're natural animals. Get out there and and don't try to get too gadgety with all the survival tools. Experience nature on its raw form. Be yeah. smart though. Don't don't go out there and kill yourself. You know, right. pace yourself. But progressive but training. Do it for the love of it. You know, because if if you're doing it for some fear that you know the world's going to end, you know then it, then you're missing the point, you know, because yeah. right here in this moment we still got a lot of nature on this planet, yeah. so we should protect it, enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Hey guys, this is David, and I want to let you know that over the next four weeks I'll be releasing 10 to 15 hand-picked shot show videos to YouTube for everyone to enjoy. So if that's all you want from shot show this year, awesome. That's all you'll get on the Ultimate Survival Tips YouTube channel. But if you can't get enough of SHOT Show and want to check out all 50 videos that I shot this year, I'm making them all available on the Ultimate Survival Tips Show on Carbon TV. So to get even more SHOT Show videos right now, click the link on your screen or in the video description to subscribe for free. Plus you'll have access to monthly giveaways and nearly 100 other top outdoor, hunting, shooting, and survival shows. Thanks for watching.